beloved i bring you greetings in the name of our lord jesus christ my name is brother stephen kwati yeboa i'm a lay preacher at mount olivet methodist society than someone circuit in accra in these difficult times i want to draw you your spirit your body and soul closer to the lord as we reflect in the words of one of our hymns that we sing mhb 527 which was written by william cowper and i believe that this hymn is so relevant in our time in this moment when the world is faced with all manner of difficulties as a result of covid 19 coronavirus pandemic but i know that in every situation that we find ourselves in god has a lesson for us I am happy as a believer that this adversity that we have been through for the past few weeks is drawing the whole world back to our Lord. I see President looking up to heaven and saying that our hope is in the God of heavens. I see on my screen doctors kneeling at the hospital knowing that medical sciences alone is not enough and that they need a hand of God. Nurses have been kneeling, security men have been kneeling praying i saw one video that really touched my heart people coming out of their homes in italy kneeling down on the ground crying praying to our god but this hymn that was written by william copper is so relevant to our time and it says in mhb 527 he said sometimes a light surprises the christian while we sing it is the lord who rises with healing in his wings when comfort are declining he grants the soul again a season of clear shining to cheer it after rain i want to encourage us that sometimes we go through difficulties like we are now but the assurance that we have in the word that was written by william copper is that the lord will rise again with healing in his wings. William Cowper was somebody who graduated as a lawyer but never got the opportunity to practice his law because he suffered so much depression. He was depressed even to a point that in 1763, when he got the opportunity to work as a clerk in the public service, he could not continue to work because his depression became so worse. And there were times William Cowper wondered whether God had condemned him to destruction. Beloved, sometimes certain situations will come like this COVID-19 that has come into our world. That we will be wondering, where is our God? Why has our God left us? But he, William Cowper, who even went through this high level of depression, he wrote and said that it is the Lord who rises with healing in his wings. When comforts are declining, Jesus our Lord will grant the soul again. Therefore, we we must come out boldly as Methodists and sing with meaning and sing our faith and know that our God is with us. If you read Psalm 30, verse 5, it says that for his anger endured but a moment, In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I see joy coming ahead of us. Our world is going through some troubles. Our world is going through some difficulties. But it's going to bring joy on our way. So I want you to join me as we sing this hymn with meaning. And trust that the good Lord himself will carry us through. And if you read verse 3 of the hymn, it says that it can bring with it nothing but he who bear us true who gives the lilies clothing will clothe his people too beneath the spreading heavens no creature but is fed and he who feeds the ravens will give his children bread in the midst of this lockdown as you stay at home some are crying to god some are worried They don't know how they are going to survive these two weeks. Yes, genuinely, they don't know how they are going to survive these two weeks. 
William Copper was inspired by the words of Jesus himself in Matthew chapter, chapter 6. If you read verse 25 down to 30, he says that, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? Look at the bears of the earth. They do not sow or reap or store away in bands. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? God will provide for you. God who feeds the raven will feed you. Don't worry about the revenues that you are going to lose because your office is closed down, because your shop is closed down. Don't worry about the situation we find ourselves. William Cowper said in verse 4, he said, that Though vine nor fig tree, neither their wanted fruit should bear, though all the fields should wither, nor flocks nor herds be there, yes, God the same abiding, his praise shall tune my voice. For while in him confiding, I cannot but rejoice. And that is why Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 up to 7, it says that rejoice in the Lord always, I say rejoice. But we should let our gentleness be evident to all. He said, the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. I want you to increase your faith and trust in God that he will provide for you. The Lord will provide for you in this difficult time. And I know that God himself, he who feeds the raven, he will feed you. Let's put our faith in God. Let's trust him. And as a Methodist, Oh, I remember the time when I took all my fuel allowances and as I was directed by God to go and give to a widow that lives closer to me. I was hesitant at some point. But when I obeyed the spirit, I went there. I called the woman. She stood by the entrance of the gate and I handed that envelope to her around 8 p.m. in the evening. She burst into tears and she started crying. And the little girl who stood by her, four-year-old, she spoke out and said, Mommy, didn't I tell you that the Lord will provide? And I asked her why. And she said, Some few hours ago, I sat with them and told them that all the money in the house is gone. And I don't know how you will go to school tomorrow because I don't have transport. I don't have money to give you as pocket money. And the little girl told them, Mommy, you taught us to always trust in God and believe that the Lord will provide. So the envelope that the Lord led me to go and give was God's provision. I burst into tears as I sat by my steer and I drove back home. But I know that through that event, God was teaching me how he provides for his people. No matter what life is, God is going to provide for you. Don't worry that you are at home because of the lockdown. Don't worry about your financial situation. Don't worry about your, your, your shop. Don't worry about your business. God will provide for you. And I also want to encourage you, those of us, as you're touched by God, bless somebody during this difficult season. Let them feel the warmth of God. Let them feel the love of God through you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord protect your family. May the Lord provide for you. May he who feeds the raven, may he who clothes the lilies, let him clothe you and your family in this difficult time. Be closer to him, sing the hymns of praise unto him, and rejoice in him, and see 
that the Lord will bring a bright shining tomorrow ahead of us. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.